Hello YouTubers and welcome to the test. Wargaming has released a new set of missions called Project R. I wanted to make an informative video that shows you how to sign up for Project R, how to track your missions, and basically just what it's all about. First of all, you can sign up for Project R by going to the World of Warships website, clicking on the event, and there's a button there that says Join Project R. I can't see any tie-ins or any gotchas for that, so I think you're perfectly safe for clicking that button without having any negative repercussions to it. Once you click that button, you're going to start collecting what they're calling pearls. And those pearls are the currency used for the rewards that you can get for the Project R missions. In order to track your mission status, you're going to have to go to the website that I'm providing here to see how many pearls you have and your current status on each of the missions that they have offered. Now, just want to point this out. There's nothing in game that you can look at to track this status. It has to be at this URL. Once I got to that site, I saw that I had no pearls and I saw the list of missions, so I thought, hey, I want to test this out. So I'm going to do one mission in a St. Louis, see what I can do, see how fast the website updates, and see how many pearls I can get. Just as soon as I could alt-tab back to the website, I saw that it was updated. I had some of the pearls and it was showing the updates to the missions that I had completed or partially completed. From the looks of it, I did one St. Louis battle and I collected 10 pearls. Let's see how. The missions are broken down into five categories. That's ship class, research, frags, battles, and weeklies. The missions for classes are broke down by how many wins did you get while playing a respective class. So you can see in my St. Louis example, I got one win in a cruiser, so my progress is one out of 25. Now once I get 25 wins in a cruiser, I'm gonna get five pearls. The next set is the research set, and unfortunately my one battle in the St. Louis was not enough to give me credit for either of these missions. The first one has to be done over a series of missions, earn a total of 100,000 experience. The second one, achieve 1,600 or more experience in a single battle. And the third one, achieve 1,800 or more experience in a single battle. So as you can see in my St. Louis example, I was awarded 1,449 experience. Close, but no cigar. The next set is for frags, and that is dependent upon what tier you're playing. So if you're playing in a tier 2 ship and you get 10 kills, you'll be rewarded 5 pearls. I played in a tier 3, so as you can see, destroy 10 enemies using a tier 3 ship. My progress is 6 out of 10 for that. No pearl reward for me, but I'll probably get it in future missions. The next one is the battles, and this is just a matter of participating. So, participate in 25 battles, get a reward of 5 pearls. Participate in 50 battles, get a reward of 10 pearls. Now, the last set is the weekly, and it may be some of the easier ones because I was given credit for three of them. The first one that I got credit for is win one battle. The next one that I got credit for is destroy five enemy ships. And the third one that I got credit for is achieve 500 experience or more in a battle. Now, of course, these can only be completed once a week, so maybe that's why they're so easy. So there are milestones for this project R, and that's done as a community. And as the community collects more pearls, the participants of Project R will get rewards. The first milestone reward is 300,000 credits for all participants. The second milestone reward is one day of premium time for all participants. The third milestone reward, you will unlock a special razor chest on the treasures page. The fourth milestone reward, you're going to get 10 of each signal flag to all participants, plus upgraded weekly treasure chest rewards. The fifth milestone reward, you're going to get a times three commander experience event, plus 500,000 credits for all participants. The sixth milestone reward, you're going to get 25 Type 3 camouflage to all participants. The seventh milestone reward, you're going to get a Times 3 experience event for an upcoming weekend. For the eighth milestone reward, players with at least 150 pearls will be entered to win one of 1,000 free Kamikaze R destroyers. So yeah, they're giving out a free ship, but only to 1,000 people. So that kind of bothered some of those ship collectors out there that think that there might not be a chance for them to get their hands on this. The ninth and final milestone reward is 4 million credits to all participants. Here's the way to use your pearls. You'll spend your pearls to unlock treasure chests. 
More treasure chests will become available to unlock each week. Inside, you'll find a randomized assortment of in-game items, including signal flags, camouflage, and other consumables. Special treasure boxes will be available to unlock when certain milestones are reached. These chests have a randomized chance of netting you some incredible high-value goodies, including razor headsets and sound software. I'm curious to get everybody's take on this, so please leave me some comments and let me know. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, please click the like button. And if you want to get updates as new videos are posted to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching the test.